Okay, so for this discussion, we'll be discussing the Calvin cycle. So last time, we discussed light reactions. Okay, so light reactions is the first half of photosynthesis. And the second half would be Calvin cycle. Okay, so if the light reactions, we did not produce any um, carbohydrate yet. Here, in Calvin cycle, we'll be producing our um, carbohydrate. Okay, so just a simple review about light reactions. Can you remember this um, figure? Can you tell me what type of electron flow is showed in this figure? So remember, if you can remember, we have two types of electron flow. What type of electron flow is showed here in the figure? So it involves two photosystems, photosystem two and photosystem one. It involves the production of oxygen, ATP, and NADPH. So what type of electron flow is showed here in the figure? Anyone? Very good, Ms. Linantud. It's linear electron flow. Okay, so this is called the linear electron flow. Okay, so... NADPH here, this is called as an electron carrier. Okay, so this is the last, um, last molecule which will accept the electron from the linear electron flow. Okay, so P680 here is called as um, the strongest oxidizing agent. So why is it called as the strongest oxidizing agent? Because... So P680, why is it called as such? The strongest oxidizing agent because the clue here is the water. Okay, di na maalala. That's okay. So because um, it, it readily... Um, it will readily accept the electrons from the water, okay? Electrons in the form of hydrogen ions, okay? Okay. How about this one here? So if, if the first one is the linear electron flow, the this one here involves only photosystem 1 and produces only ATP as a byproduct. What type of electron flow is shown here in this figure? So if you have linear electron flow for the first one, this one here is called Very good, Joy. So this is a cyclic electron flow. That's correct. Thank you. So cyclic electron flow only involves photosystem one and it involves the electron um, transport protein ferredoxin, the cytochrome complex, and plastocyanin. Okay? It only produces ATP. Okay, now let's move to the Calvin cycle. Okay, so the byproducts of the light reactions, ATP and NADPH, these are the two products that will be used for the Calvin cycle. Okay, so the light reaction keeps pumping ATP and NADPH um, for the plant in order for these um, byproducts to be used here in the Calvin cycle. Okay, so kailangan kasi sila sa Calvin cycle natin. So let us look at a few let us look at a few things in the Calvin cycle. Three molecules in general will be looking at the carbon dioxide, which is um, important and essential for the Calvin cycle. This one here in the middle is NADPH. So this is also important because it has a big role in the creation of our intermediate carbohydrate. And lastly is ATP, okay, which will be used um, to um, 
change the structure and to create also the intermediate carbohydrate. Okay. Okay. This question here is glucose the direct carbohydrate formed from the Calvin cycle? Is glucose the direct carbohydrate formed from Calvin cycle? Tama po ba to? Glucose po ba ang direct na carbohydrate na napo-form sa Calvin cycle? Anyone? Is glucose the direct carbohydrate formed from the Calvin cycle? Okay, no. Sige, Joyce, what's the direct carbohydrate formed from the Calvin cycle? Very good. G3P. So, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is the direct carbohydrate formed from Calvin cycle. So, it is not readily glucose. Okay, it needs to undergo... Um, two cycles in order to form two G3Ps in order to form our sugar or yung kung ano mang carbohydrate yung ipoform nung ating plant. Okay? So, kung kailangan niya ng mas um, complex na carbohydrate, a more st structurally sound or more um, energy containing carbohydrate, uh, it will undergo the cycle multiple times in order to produce that. Okay? Oh, sorry. Okay, so the Calvin cycle actually has three phases. So I'm sure you've read this in your module. Phase one would be carbon fixation. Phase two would be the reduction. And phase three would be the regeneration. Okay, so let's see. Let's first look at carbon fixation. Okay. So, sa carbon fixation, CO2 would enter um, the plant through the stomata, di ba? So, it will enter through the stomata, enter the plant, and undergo um, the Calvin cycle. Okay? So, the first thing that would happen is that CO2 would be um, binded or it will be fused with um, a molecule called RUBP or ribulose bisphosphate. Okay? Once carbon dioxide is um, uh, it is um, it is bounded or it is fused with RUBP with the help of an enzyme. Okay, so the reaction that um, happens between the two is catalyzed by an enzyme called Rubisco or um, ribulose uh, ribulose bisphosphate um, carboxylase oxygenase. Okay, so uh, parang half half yung role niya both as a carboxylase and as a as an oxygenase okay so it is also widely known that rubisco is actually um, the most abundant protein found in plants at the same time it is speculated that rubisco is also the most abundant protein protein in our planet okay so speculated na siya yung pinakamadaming pinakamadaming ah no sorry pinakamadami in terms of number na protein sa buong planeta natin. Because we have a lot of um, autotrophic or photosynthetic organisms. That's why Rubisco is um, yun nga, speculated as yung pinakamadami. Okay? So again, as CO2 enters the Calvin cycle, it is fused or um, binded with ribulose bisphosphate with the help of Rubisco. Okay, so the reaction that happens between the two is catalyzed by Rubisco. Once um, they are combined, it will form a short-lived intermediate. Okay, so itong intermediate na to, kaya siya short-lived because it is highly unstable. Okay, the short-lived intermediate is highly unstable. Therefore, um, it will readily um, split into, so this is unstable, sorry. So this here is unstable. So it will um, readily split into two, three phosphoglycerate or three PGC. I think it's a module 
three PGC, if I'm not mistaken. So this short-lived intermediate here would split into two. Okay. Tatlong three phosphoglycerate. Okay. Tatlo. Sorry. Dalawang three phosphoglycerate. Sorry, sorry. Remember, tinitignan pa lang natin dito ay isang um, carbon dioxide. Okay? Isang carbon dioxide pa lang. Tingin muna tayo sa isang carbon dioxide. So, one carbon dioxide, it will um, it will enter the Calvin cycle. Actually, one at a time naman talaga siya. It will enter the Calvin cycle. Pero multiple times kasi nangyayari yung Calvin cycle. So, one CO2 enters the Calvin cycle. It is combined with um, isang... Uh, RUBP or ribulose bisphosphate with the help of Rubisco, um, it will form the intermediate and will split into two, three phosphoglycerates. Okay, so meron ka ng tatlong phospho... Ay, tatlo. Sorry, nalilito ko sa three. Meron ka ng dalawang three phosphoglycerate. Okay, may dalawa kang three phosphoglycerate. It's, it, it's split into two because the intermediate is highly unstable. Okay? Now, once you have phosphoglycerate, it will undergo the second phase, which is reduction. Okay? For reduction, you will need your ATP, yung mga, yung mga products natin kanina, ATP, products of light reactions to, di ba? ATP and NADPH. Okay? So, but 6 nakalagay dito? So, 6 nakalagay dito kasi dito sa figure, tatlo kagad yung nag-enter na carbon dioxide. Pero kung isa lang yung titig na natin, if, if we only observe one carbon dioxide, how many ATP and NADPH would be used for this part? For the reduction part? <clears throat> per molecule of carbon dioxide, how many ATP and NADPH would be used? How many? Sorry? Yes po. Very good. Si Oki ba yan? Two lang po. Okay. So two. So since sa figure kasi, three molecules of carbon dioxide entered, tas dito, sa, dito makikita nyo, six yun nakalagay. So i-divide nyo lang sa three. E di tignan dalawa sila. So if one carbon dioxide molecule lang yung tinitignan natin, two ATP would be used for um, each carbon dioxide molecule. Okay? Also to NADPH. Okay? So what would happen? Once three phosphoglycerate is um, nandun na siya sa reduction phase, ATP would be used in order to um, phosphorylate yung phosphoglycerate. That's why magiging bisphosphoglycerate na siya. Okay? One, three, 1,3, di ba? Pang yung positions no, no, um phosphate. So, 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate. Okay? So, it will form this uh, product. So, once ATP is added, it will form this product. I'm sorry. It will form this product here. Now, after this one, after the addition of ATP, NADPH would be um, used to add, um, kumbaga mag-donate mag, mag siya ng electron. Okay? So magbigay siya ng electron kay bisphosphoglycerate. So once NADPH is used to donate that electron, it will form our um, intermediate, uh, not intermediate, yung ating direct na carbohydrate which is G3P. Okay? Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. So this one here will be used in the future as yung building block natin for more complex carbohydrates or um, bigger carbohydrates such as glucose or sucrose. Okay? So kung ano mang polysaccharide yung gusto mong i-form, or disaccharide, yan po. Sa G3P po, G3P po, manggagaling lahat ng yan.
Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, um, yung pag, of course, yung paggamit ng ATP at paggamit ng NADPH, may ano yan, may, may kaakibat na product ulit yan. So, dito, since um, gumamit ka ng ATP, magperform ka din ng ADP. Dito, gumamit ka ng NADPH, magperform ka din ng NADP+. Plus. Okay? So, meron ding inorganic phosphate na kasama. Okay. Now, once you have your G3P, so, kung dalawa yung phosphoglycerate po dito at the um, carbon fixation part, sa reduction, you would also produce two um, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates. Okay? So, meron kang dalawa sa isang carbon molecule, ah, sorry, sa ibang carbon dioxide sa isang carbon dioxide molecule meron kang 'di ba you will produce two three phosphoglycerates ay nako ang hirap magsulat you will produce three um phosphoglycerate sorry two three phosphoglycerate. Sorry. You'll have to forgive me. Nasusundan nyo pa naman siguro. And then, from that, if you have two, um, three PGC, sa reduction, you would also have two um, G3P. Okay? So, yan din kasi yung magiging G3P nyo. Uh, Okay. Now, question. So, sabi dito, in order to gain 1 G3P, net na G3P, okay, you would need to undergo uh, I'm sorry. In order to gain 1 G3P, okay, 1 net Net, ibig sabihin yung parang kinita mo na G3P, di ba? So, in order to gain one net G3P, um, you would need six molecules of G3P. Okay? So, ngayon, the question would be, how many cycles would the um, Calvin cycle undergo in order to produce six G3Ps? How many? So, if one carbon dioxide six, molecule would six, produce six. how many? Six din po. Six Calvin cycles. Six? Okay. Ulitin Sir, na. Three po. Three. Yes. That's the correct answer. Three. Kasi remember, for one carbon dioxide molecule, dalawang G3P kagad, G3P kagad ang napoproduce natin. So, if we need six molecules of G3P in order to gain a net of one G3P, we would undergo how many cycles again? Three po. Three. Very good. So, three cycles in order to gain... How many net? How many net G3P? One net G3P. One po. net G3P. Very good. Sir, bakit po kailangan six na G3P yung, ano, yung i-produce natin? Why would we need to undergo the cycle three times? So, dahil po yung last phase natin o yung last na um, step sa ating Calvin cycle is called the regeneration part. Okay. Ano po ba yung nire-regenerate natin, sir? So, kung mapapansin nyo, here in the figure, you would need 5 molecules of G3P in order to produce again yung ginamit natin sa carbon fixation part, which is yung RUBP or ribulose bisphosphate. Okay? Dun sa limang G3P na yun, makakapag-produce ka ng tatlong ribulose bisphosphate with the help of Again, ATP. So, may tatlong ATP na gagamitin dito sa um, regeneration part. Okay? So, yun yung in total um, yung Calvin cycle. Okay? So, sa nangyayari yung Calvin cycle? Kung yung ating light reactions ay sa thylakoid, yung Calvin cycle natin, nangyayari siya sa tinatawag na stroma ng ating um, chloroplast. 
Okay? Doon sa fluid inside the um, chloroplast. Doon sa stroma. Okay? So, tignan natin ulit yung molecules. So, let's look at the molecules dito sa susunod na figure. Wait lang ha. Clear ko lang siya. Okay. Dito, tignan natin sa molecules. Mas madali tignan dito eh. So, meron kang isang carbon dioxide dito. Di ba? Nagsimula tayo sa Calvin cycle. We had one carbon dioxide. It will be um, fused with RUBP or ribulose bisphosphate with the help of Rubisco. Magpo-form ka ng unstable na intermediate. Tapos mula dun sa isang carbon dioxide, you would form dalawang um, 3PGA pala siya guys. Sorry. Hindi PGC. Phosphoglycerate kasi kaya mas parang maano ko is C. PGA pala. Sorry, sorry. So, yun. Three, dalawang um, 3PGA. And then, uh, phosphoglycerate na lang para di tayo malito. So, carbon dioxide, from one carbon dioxide fusing with RUBP, you would form two phosphoglycerates. Okay? Two, three phosphoglycerates. Okay? So, meron na tayong dalawang phosphoglycerate. Now, with the help of ATP, two ATP, and two NADPH, okay, yung dalawang phosphoglycerate na yan, gagawin nating dalawang G3P. Okay? So, mula dito sa dalawang phosphoglycerate, with the help of ATP, two ATP, and two NADPH, you would form dalawang G3P. And again, ano tong dalawang ano tong G3P na to? This is the ano yung tawag natin diyan? It is the What is this? The G3P here? It is the Chris Chris carbohydrates. Yeah, very good. First or it is the direct carbohydrate formed from the Calvin cycle. Okay, so this is yung pinaka um first form ng carbohydrate na na-form na nagagawa doon sa Calvin cycle the G3P. Okay, now you have two G3Ps sa ano to, sa reduction to, di ba? So in order to in order for the next phase to occur, yung regeneration part, the cycle needs to occur how many times again? It will need to occur how many times? Para mag-undergo your regeneration. Eight, How many sir? times? Sorry? Sir? Three? How many? Yan. Okay. You, the cycle needs to undergo um, or it needs to repeat three times in order for regeneration to occur. Bakit ulit kailangan three times? Bakit kailangan three times mag-occur yung cycle? Because... Ano ba ginagamit sa regeneration part? Ano yung kailangan dun sa regeneration? Ilan? 5G3P po. Okay, very good. You need 5G3Ps para sa regeneration. Okay? You need 5G3Ps for regeneration. Ano yung nire-regenerate natin sa regeneration phase? Yung RUBP po. Very good. The RUBP. So, in order to produce the RUBP, three molecules of RUBP, you would need five G3Ps. Five yan. And then three RUBPs. So you also need, pakitignan po, you also need three ATP. You also need three ATP for this process to occur. Okay, so one ATP for each molecule of RUBP. Okay? So... Tignan sir? natin. Yes? Ang tanong ko lang po, sir, paano po nagkaroon ng anim na P sa right side pero lima lang po dun sa left side? Anim na what? Sorry? Anim na phosphorus. Pen, sa Anaphosphate. RUBP, tapos po, oh. lima lang po sa... Yes, sir. I actually have no idea. <laughs> Ay... Eh, sir, ba, ano po ba yan? Nanggaling po ba yan, sir, sa ATP? Tapos naging ADP? Oo, oh, tatlong ATP yung ginamit. 
Why? Ah, okay. Gets, gets ko na. Ah, hindi. Yeah, okay. Same. Gets ko na. Kaya naging anim. <laughs> may may, may <laughs> yeah. phosphate na dinodonate yung tatlong ATP. Ah, yun. So, yun, yun. sila yung magbibigay nung ano, second na phosphate for each molecule of RUBP. Ayan. Thank you po, sir. <laughs> Bangag din. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, so yun. Now, let's look at yung total. Okay? Like I said, since the cycle needs under, to undergo three times, basically, tatlong carbon dioxide molecules yung gagamitin sa um, in total dun sa ano, Calvin cycle. Tatlo talaga yung kailangan para buo yung Calvin cycle. Pero one at a time kasi nangyayari yung, yung one at a time pumapasok kasi yung carbon dioxide sa Calvin cycle talaga. Hindi tatlo simultaneously. One at a time lang. So usually, tinitignan talaga natin siya one carbon dioxide molecule at a time. But yung dun sa phase 3 kasi, sa regeneration part, you would need yung tatlong um, cycles na kagad kasi you need the five um, G3Ps for regeneration to occur. And you would only produce five G3Ps. Actually, you would only produce six G3Ps when you, the cycle undergoes or repeats three times. So, pag nag-repeat yung cycle three times, magigain ka ng isang G3P at limang G3P for um, regeneration. Okay? So, isa lang talaga, dun sa anim na yon, isa lang talaga dun yung kikitain ng plan. Kasi yung lima dun, i-invest ulit nila for regenerating RUBP. Okay? So, in total naman, you would need how many ATPs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 ATPs. Ngayon, bakit naging 9 ATPs yan? Why do we need 9 ATPs? I-divide nyo yan per phases, per, per phases. Sa carbon fixation po ba gagamit ng ATP? Carbon fixation, gagamit po ba ng ATP? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Sa carbon no, fixation sir. na? Oh, no, po. No, po. Ah, no. no, yes. Very, no, no. Very good yon guys. So, it would, hindi pa kailangan na ATP doon, di ba? Kasi RUBP pa lang yon and Rubisco. How about for, ano, for the reduction phase? Would, would this part use ATP? Yes. Yes. Okay, for each carbon dioxide molecule, ilang ATP yung magagamit doon sa reduction part? Dalawang ATP po. Very good. Dalawa. Okay, itrack natin. One, two. Okay, may dalawa na. One, two. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Lumihes. One, two. Okay, so saan po ito san manggagaling yung tatlo na to. <clears throat> Bakit esakto naman sa reduction phase? Tigda dalawa sila ATP, may anim na. Saan nang galing tong tatlong to? Sa regeneration phase po Very kailangan good. ng tatlong ATP. Okay, so sa regeneration phase, you would need 3 ATPs para mag-form ka no? Tatlong Ano yung ma-form doon? Tatlong RUBP. RUBP. Very good. So sa regeneration po manggaga mag gagamit itong tatlong sobra na to. Okay? Regeneration. Yan. Okay? Now, let's look at the NADPH naman. <clears throat> sa carbon fixation, gagamit po ba tayo ng NADPH? No po. No. How about for reduction? Yes po. Yes. How many per molecule of carbon dioxide? Two. Very good. Two din po. So one, two, three. Kasi tatlong molecules of carbon dioxide. Sa regeneration po ba, gagamit pa tayo ng NADPH? Sa regeneration, gagamit pa po ba? 
Di na po. Okay, very good. Okay, question. Ngayon, if you want to form, <clears throat> if you want to form, let's say, sucrose, okay, or sige, glucose, ilang G3P yung magagamit natin? Three. Kung gusto mong gumawa ng mga ganon, glucose or sucrose? One po. One? How about yung others? One lang ba? Ilang two, molecules sir? of carbon ba yan? Very good. Two. Okay, so in order to form yung mga simple carbohydrates natin like glucose or sucrose, you would need two G3Ps. And again, <clears throat> sa isang buong Calvin cycle, di ba? Sa tatlong carbon dioxide molecules na papasok sa Calvin cycle, ilan lang yung net gain of G3P doon? Net. Net gain. One, one, sir. Very good. One lang. Ngayon, kung dalawa kailangan mo, ilang carbon dioxide molecules dapat? Ano Guys, yun, sir? Six po. Six. Very good. Kasi di ba dalawang, dalawang net na G3P yung kailangan mo, di ba? in order to form yung simple sugars like glucose and sucrose. If ilang, ilang carbon dioxide molecules yung ginamit mo, makapag-produce lang ng isang net gain of G3P. Ilan? Ilang yes, carbon yes, dioxide? Tatlo, di ba? So, ilan pa kailangan mo para makagawa ka pa ng isa pang net gain para maging dalawa na sila? Tatlo pa, Tatlo pa ulit. So, anim na carbon dioxide molecules in total yung kakailanganin mo para makagawa ka ng dalawang G3Ps. Okay? Naintindihan ba? Medyo ano talaga siya? Medyo mahirap i-follow sa umpisa. Pero once na medyo ulit-ulitin nyo siya sa, um, sa utak nyo, ganyan, medyo mag-grasp nyo na kung ano yung Um, sinusundan natin dito sa Calvin Cycle. Okay? So, patapos na tayo. Hindi-discuss ko lang napakabilis yung mga plant adaptations pagdating sa Calvin Cycle. Kasi um, yung mga plants, nag-evolve sila ng iba't ibang ways to adapt to different environments um, uh, na specific dito sa Calvin Cycle. Actually, mas specific siya ata sa carbon fixation. Okay? So, meron tayong tatlong uri ng Um, adaptation sa carbon fixation. One is called the C3. Y yung diniskas natin, yung diniskas natin Calvin cycle, ang tawag doon ay C3 as in C plus 3. Okay, yun yung normal. Sa madaming plants, uh, most plants, yun yung ginagamit nila. Yung isa pang adaptation is tinatawag natin C4. Okay, so yung, yung sa sa diniskas natin na C3 um, wala masyadong restrictions dito sa C4 yung isang adaptation ng mga plants yung carbon fixation nangyayari siya sa um, isang type or isang distinct na cell which is what we call the mesophyll cell so dun sa mga C4 plants meron silang specific na cell kung saan nangyayari lang yung carbon fixation and that is called as the, as the mesophyll cell. Okay? Yung other phases ng Calvin cycle nangyayari sila sa iisa pa ulit na um, iisang type of cell ulit which is called the bundle sheath cell. Okay? So hiwalay nangyayari yung carbon fixation sa C4 plants. Okay? Tignan naman natin yung isang susunod. So C4 plants yung isa pang adaptation ay tinatawag nating CAM. Okay? Or mahaba yung totoong pangalan niyan eh. Crassulacean acid metabolism. Asa na ba yung ano? CAM plants or crat, baka hindi ko sure kung tama spelling ko. Correct niyo na lang kung mali. Crassulacean acid metabolism. Okay, so yan yun, CAM plants. CAM plants or Carsulacean Acid Metabolism plants. Dito, so kung sa ating 
kung sa ating um, sa ating C4 plants magkahiwalay na cells or tignan nyo yung word dito spatial yung separation ng carbon fixation kasi di ba sa isang specific na cell nangyayari yung carbon fixation so hiwalay siya ulit sa isa pang type of sa isa pang type of cell which is yung bundle sheet cell so dito mangyayari yung the rest of the calvin cycle pagdating sa camp plants temporal yung separation what does temporal mean ano ibig sabihin pag sinabi nating temporal yung separation ay kung dito space dito ay temporal ay what if spatial space temporal May is time lang very good time so sa camp plants yung carbon fixation ay nangyayari lang sa gabi. Sa umaga, mag undergo yung the rest ng Calvin cycle. Okay? So, ito, mas, ko mas common to. Itong C4, common siya sa mga um, grass plants, sugar cane, mga corn, yung ganon. Okay? Grass plants. Ito namang cam, ayan, pineapple, undergoes cam, as well as other um succulents, yung mga desert plants, ganyan-ganyan, nag undergo din sila ng, ay, sila din ay um, consider as cam plants. Okay? So again, C3, yung normal na dinidiscuss natin, di ba? So hindi hiwalay yung cells kung saan nangyayari yung Calvin cycle at carbon fixation, tapos walang oras. Sa C4 plants, hiwalay nangyayari yung carbon fixation at yung the rest ng Calvin cycle. Sa camp plants naman, um, ibang oras nangyayari yung um, carbon fixation at ibang oras din nangyayari yung the rest of the Calvin cycle. Okay? Naintindihan ba? Naintindihan? Yung part na to? Yes. Okay. So are there any questions? Let me stop my recording first. Sir?